Dive deep into timeless tales. Join our Bible's literature series where ancient stories come alive. Discover the Bible like never before as captivating narratives, not just sacred texts. Your literary adventure awaits. Dive into the Bible with us, a tapestry of tales and truth, where the sacred texts shape community conversations. Lecture 20, Exploring Jewish Heritage, Identity Formation, and Rebuilding Jerusalem. In 539 BC, Cyrus II, the king of Persia, defeated the Babylonians, bringing significant changes for the exiled people of Judah. Some of them were given the opportunity to return to Jerusalem and rebuild their society. This lecture explores the implications of this new political context and its impact on their identity as a people. The discussion of identity is approached from two perspectives, the distinctiveness of Israel in the books of Ezra and Nehemiah and their engagement with outsiders as seen in the story of Jonah. The rebuilding of the temple is a central focus in Ezra and Nehemiah. Cyrus issues a decree allowing the people to return to Jerusalem, where they establish a new altar, offer sacrifices, and celebrate traditional holidays. These practices contribute to the returning group's sense of identity as the bearers of Israel's distinctive tradition. However, conflicts arise when a group of long-standing inhabitants in the region asks to join in the rebuilding. The returning group believes that the descendants of the foreign settlers worship their ancestral gods alongside the God of Israel, leading to a division that hinders the joint construction of the temple. The Law of Moses plays a significant role in shaping Jewish identity. Ezra, a Jewish scribe, is authorized by King Artaxerxes II to teach the Jewish law and ensure obedience to both Jewish and Persian laws. Esther's return to Jerusalem raises concerns about intermarriage with non-Jewish spouses, which he believes compromises the community's distinct identity. He takes drastic measures requiring people to divorce their foreign wives. The reading of the law by Ezra in an open plaza near the city gate reflects synagogue practices and reinforces the centrality of Jewish law in defining Jewish identity. The lecture then shifts to the story of Nehemiah, who is determined to rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. He faces opposition from officials who see the project as a threat to their authority. Despite the challenges, Nehemiah successfully completes the project, contributing to the city's distinctiveness and space within the empire. Finally, the Book of Jonah highlights the importance of engaging with outsiders and seeking the well-being of their nations. Jonah's self-absorbed attitudes and resistance to God's command to prophesy against Nineveh demonstrates the pitfalls of a close and exclusive community. The story emphasizes the need for a balanced approach to Jewish identity that encompasses engagement with others. Overall, this lecture explores the complexities of Jewish identity in the post-exilic period, examining themes of distinctiveness, adherence to the law, engagement with outsiders, and the challenges of rebuilding. Stay enthralled with epic sagas and ageless wisdom. Continue with us in our Bible as Literatures series, unearth stories and symbols in a fresh literary light. The next chapter of your riveting journey is just around the corner. Thank you for joining us on Exploring Jewish Heritage. We have journeyed through history, witnessing the rebuilding of a community and the formation of an enduring identity. From the echoes of Ezra's reading to the fortified walls of Nehemiah's Jerusalem, We've seen the resilience of faith and culture. As we close, remember the stories of those who stood at the crossroad of history, defining what it meant to be a people, united by tradition, and challenged by their time. We invite you to reflect on these tales of dedication and transformation. Don't miss out our next episode where we'll unveil the trials and triumphs of Esther and Daniel, figures who thrived under empire rule, 
and whose stories continue to inspire courage and integrity. Make sure to subscribe for more insightful exploration into our shared past and hit the bell icon to stay updated. Share your thoughts in the comments below and if you have questions, we are eager to discuss them in future sessions. May these ancient narratives enlighten our present and guide us in rebuilding a better tomorrow. Until next time, keep seeking 